Hi there, Prayer Plant Girl here. I thought you might want to have a little look at what I have uh, growing in my grow room and out in my greenhouse right now. So I thought I'd just give you a little, a little look at that. Hopefully it'll be quick. Okay, so there's my shelf. Um, it's inside here that I still have a lot of plants on. Um, start at the top here. Um, that in the corner there is uh, a helichrysum or licorice plant I think is the common name for it and I've just uh, I saved it I had bought it um, to go in a pot last year and I brought it in for the winter and I've taken a few cuttings just popped them in the soil there and uh, hoping to use some of that this year again and there's the coleus cuttings that I took in a previous video you can see they're taking off. Some of them are just huge. Some are smaller, but that's because of the type of coleus they are. And this pot here didn't really do a whole lot. That's the flamethrower, I believe. And those ones in that video, if you recall, I'd said they weren't really great um, stems for putting straight in the soil. and. Those ones that went straight in the soil, and you can see they didn't didn't do well. And there's some more. There's some little ones there that are struggling, but they're coming back, so they should be all right. Uh, here I have actually two trays. There's another one back there of acid and thera. Um, that's a flowering bulb, and uh, every year I dig them up and just store them just dry in like a, a mesh bag, like an onion bag. And I've just pulled them out and put them in soil. You can see the tag there, March 27th. So they take a long time to get going. It's just moist soil. And they just look like they're just sitting there. I did pull a few up the other day and there is some roots forming on the bottom. So they just take time to get going and then I'll use those in pots. They're beautiful flowers. <clears throat> and then the shelf is mostly peppers. I'll maybe try and turn some of these lights off. Um, so this is my pepper plants and they're doing really well. I'll be going through pretty soon and um, just pinching them back. You can see some of them. Several sets of true leaves now. We're up to probably about four. So once I can get in here I'll be pinching those and uh, that should encourage some more branching. So you can see it's just a single stem right now. More back there. And then I have some thyme and some peppermint. And I have a begonia here. This is a double white begonia. I just had brought the uh, tuber in um, last fall, stored it in cool storage, and uh, just put that back in some soil a month or so ago. In behind there, I have some cantaloupe and watermelon starting, and you can just see a Minnesota midget cantaloupe just starting to come out of the soil today. Um, over here, I don't know how well you can see, but there is some celery starting in a few of these containers here. So one there, and I think there's one just starting over there. This is my attempt to grow borage. I think I'm the only person that can't grow that. And that's some parsley, I believe. Yeah, parsley. You can see that April 6th, parsley takes forever. You see one just, just starting to come out here and then that other one. And there's a few seeds in there. I'll probably get more yet. And there's a few more pepper plants here. So again, they're getting they're getting leggy. This one here is actually starting to um, 
branch out on its own. It seems like usually I need to do a little trim on them, a little topping to get that to happen. So that'd be nice if, if it would uh, do that. So down on this uh, shelf here where it looks like an empty tray. Let's see if I can get from under the back lights there. This is petunias. You can see quite a few petunias coming up. And where the better light is for these. There, you can see them better, maybe. So I have almost 100% germination with these. They're pretty small. I just planted these petunias April 18th, and today is the 27th, so it's been nine days. I had planted some up earlier, like you should. Um, they should be started, like I think it's like 10 weeks before your last, or your last frost date. Um, and they just did not germinate for me. And the only thing I figured out that it is different was I did a very, very fine layer of um, vermiculite on top of those. And petunias need light to germinate. I had heard that uh, vermiculite wouldn't impede that um, with some plants, but it definitely got in the way of the petunias. And then over in this last three rows is Nicotiana in these last three rows here and I don't know if you probably can see but they're just starting to poke out and they like like to germinate as well so they're a little bit behind as well but I had to redo this tray and given the current situation I decided it was worth a try to get these up to flowering um, instead of trying to track down some some plants later on and I might not be able to. They're coming along quite nicely. So I think we'll be all right there. And this tray over here is Impatience. There's Tropical Fizz, which is just kind of a general mixture of kind of peachy, pinky red colors. And there's four of those I think and then on the end here is super elfin white I believe in these two trays so they're looking pretty good down here this pot was supposed to be parsley I'm really not getting anything out of that one I don't think but I'll just leave it because it does take forever and maybe some will pop up and then tomatoes so I have some cherry tomatoes I actually just went through these plants today and uh, did a little bit of trimming and grooming on the tomatoes. Just popped off any leaves. When they're grown so close together like this, they get kind of damaged leaves. And these guys have actually been outside on a nice day or two. So it's easy for the, the leaves to get blown around the wind a bit more. I have a fan going in here, but sometimes they still need need a little grooming. And uh, I also went, there was a few that had, if you remember in these bigger pots, um, if you've seen my video where I planted them up, I have two in each of these pots and I don't intend to plant them out in pairs like that, but I just was out running low on potty mix. Um, and so I'd put them in like this. And so there were some that were nice and sturdy and, and then it would have like one that was really spindly in the same pot. So I just went, I don't see any at the front here, but I just cut out the really spindly one if there was a really spindly one beside a nice strong one like that. And then I have just a little bit of lettuce here. These are, there's six kinds of lettuce and I've just been um, using it as cut and come again and um, just making a little bit of salad for myself out of it. I'm the only one in my family that really enjoys salad, so I've just been using it like that. So that's what's going on inside. I'll see, I'll try and get to, out to the greenhouse and show you what's out there. So you can see as we come up to the greenhouse, there's two of the pots that I planted with uh, Lincer Delicatessen potatoes just sitting outside. 
You can see there's been no change with those as of yet. I actually dug down in a couple of pots and the potatoes haven't even started sprouting yet. Um, but like you may have seen in that video, they hadn't uh, sprouted at all. So they're gonna take a little bit of time to do that. So inside the greenhouse, I have a tray. I actually just brought this out today. Um, it has some osteospermum, African daisies, cosmos, some poppies, uh, uh, some sweet pea, and two kinds of sweet peas. The poppies and sweet peas um, are all varieties I received from Ryan at A Little Dirt Never Hurt a year or two ago. Um, so I don't know what variety the poppies are. They are coming up. They were beautiful last year. I really enjoyed them, so I saved the seed. And then the sweet peas is uh, Zinfandel and April in Paris. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm hoping that they come up a little more than just this one. And it looks like I have something coming up that's obviously not a sweet pea. I reused the soil from the first time I planted the petunias out um, and that looks like a petunia seedling to me so I'm just leaving it there to to see see what it turns into um, and then I have some unknown varieties of peonies and there's actually two more over on this side they just came in a mixed pack of uh, roots that I planted them up few onions here. I've put a few out into the garden just to experiment with what they can handle. These are some zinnias just from saved seed that I've saved over the years. And then I have a tray of seedlings here. So this is bachelor's buttons and calendula. Candy Tuft, you can see that they didn't all come up, but a lot of them did. And then this I believe is Coreopsis, yeah. So this was a, a free pack of seeds that I received from one of the companies I ordered from. Um, I believe they're supposed to be red flowered Coreopsis. And I had seeded them quite thickly, so I'm going to have to come in here and get these divided out and do something with them pretty soon here. And over on this table, I have some bunny tails grass. It's looking beautiful. Um, here's this one is uh, snapdragons, and the rest of these are what I got out of what did I have like something like 62 cells of petunias the first time I planted, and I wound up with like seven eight plants so is it even eight I think this one actually didn't actually come up and this one is not looking healthy and then I have here some asters and on this side is uh, obrisha and some more onions uh, this one is this is Superstar White, these two rows in the front, and then this is a candy, a Spanish candy onion. So those are looking nice. And then I have several pansies here. These are showy Swiss giant. And um, a little bit of parsley. I think these are cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. And I think these are cauliflower. Nope, Brussels sprouts. This one here is Brussels sprouts, and then the rest are cauliflower. Um, and these must all be broccoli yet. Yeah. So I've planted some of my cauliflower and cabbage. I have another tray of cabbage over here. So the empty cells are where I've already taken some out and put them in the garden. Um, they're under cover. But that's where they are right now. Uh, this is more snapdragons. They're looking great. I'll probably 
plant these out in a pot or something pretty soon. Snapdragons are tough. And marigolds, these are going to go into the garden. This is a pack of asters that never germinated. These are my lupins. Three. And onions. And then I have some geums there. Red dragon. And then just my couple more pots of potatoes in here. So that's what I have growing uh, in containers, you know, waiting to, to go out in the garden or in my flower pots or whatnot right now. Um, I do have a few things. I've started planting seeds of uh, more cold tolerant plants in the garden. I have one bed of potatoes planted in the garden now and like I said I have some cabbage and cauliflower and I actually have um, a couple of Brussels sprouts plants and a few onions out there as well. But um, I will go through that one day another time um, and show you what I have growing there in the garden. But that's what I have in my grow room and my greenhouse right now. So hopefully I didn't take too long with this, but I just thought it might be nice to see what I have growing on. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.